Hello, good afternoon everyone. Once again, I am Ethan Reyes, the Education Officer for the Philippine Eagle Foundation. So, today we will be learning about Raptor Behaviors. As such, we are currently here at the Philippine Eagle Center to observe some of the Raptor Behaviors that we can see here at the center inside. So, let's head on in. One of the most interesting things that can help us in understanding and conserving Raptors is by observing their behavior. Much like how we would observe dogs and notice how sometimes they act differently when they're hungry or act excited when they see their owners, raptors have their own set of behaviors that help our animal keepers in doing their job in the manner healthiest to both the raptor and the keeper. By being observant as to what the raptor's current disposition may be, animal keepers can determine whether they are happy hungry, or even angry. And so, I'm at the Philippine Eagle Center today to show you some of the resident raptors so we can observe and learn a bit about some of their natural behaviors. If a raptor is happily feeding, it means that it is comfortable enough within its enclosure to eat. Here, we see LDI happily feeding on meat propagated within the Philippine Eagle Center's food stock. So that is white rat meat. So, over here is Mabuhay feeking in front of us. Feeking is a form of grooming for raptors. So, it is the act of a raptor wiping its bill in an object or branch, usually to clean it after eating. So, Mabuhay here just finished eating. If you look there, that is Philippine Eagle Diamante. So, Diamante, like most Philippine Eagles, they prefer perching on top of the tallest tree just so they can observe the people or the animals, the surroundings, the forests around them. Because the eyesight of our Philippine eagles, they are eight times much better than our eyesight. So there you have it. So I'm sure Diamante is currently looking at us right now. Observing what we're doing, why are we going so closer and closer. Okay, good afternoon. So we will be seeing Sinag fly across from his stomp all the way um, to Luana later. What Sinag is doing here is he is currently mantling, stretching out his wings to hide the food that he is eating. Probably from me. <laughs> there are other raptor behaviors apart from what we saw today, and all of them are essential in understanding about how we can help conserve our raptors, especially the Philippine eagle. For example, cresting. Whenever a Philippine eagle feels threatened or curious, or maybe just wants its personal space, it raises its crest feathers to let the people know that they are on alert. This is important for animal keepers because knowing the moods, knowing when a Philippine eagle is not comfortable with you within a space, is essential for both the safety of the Philippine eagle and of course the animal keeper. Remember, the Philippine eagle is an awesome raptor, one of the largest in the world. As such, before we decide to come closer to an animal or decide to help an injured animal, we have to be aware of their behavior. Are they aggressive? Are they calm? All these are essential in maintaining protection for both the animal and us. Thank you.